So we're going to be seeing AMs here open with a double marine. Going to be pathing straight to the blue in front of his base. A few seconds delay there, not actually clicking on it. So the marine is going to auto collect that. But on the opposite side, repair a Sammy. Going to be collecting the blue on his side. Going at Gen second. Supply pod fed for him and a gen fed for Ames. Yeah, where am I going? No, Squid Ink, you're probably two weeks too late because I advertised this in the Discord about two weeks ago. So, yeah, we uh, we do have 16 players today. Uh, it has been organized for a while. It's not just a last-minute joining thing. Hey, Frasher, thank you for the sub. So no one except for Ames here picking up an early mini. We'll be seeing an Armoury 5th come out from AIM, so we'll be seeing Jerome, and obviously we will be seeing the Forge Hog from Reaper as well. There is the first single mini being picked up for Reaper. He collected the power in front of his base with two Marines as well. He should then go on to the garrison and take this power node, but he's a bit late doing that there. A bit late all around the map, to be honest, uh, with these Marines collecting. Late on this mini as well. Nobody picked up the middle, and Ames also going to be doing the opposite, picking up this mini base late. And this is uh, something that separates the top players, obviously, from these novices. They are here in the tournament to learn. They're just kind of being more proactive. Queue up your units. We do have a barracks out of Ames as well. Uh, so we're going to be seeing Jerome, Flamers from him, and we're going to be seeing a Sniper and a Forge Hog from Reaper. So both playing Tech 1 here. Finally going to be working on that power node, but what you want to do is put your Marines in the garrison so they take less damage. And this is a good map. Exactly like this, like Ames is doing over here. You'll take less damage there, your Marines will be more healthy. Just small advantages. Uh, I'll set up the bracket now, actually. Let me just do that. So. Supply pad constructed. <clears throat> Under fire from air units. <clears throat> so Aim's gonna actually be the one picking up the double mini in the uh, center there. Do we have any anti-air support? Over. Got a hog, a bunch of marines, and a sniper going to push onto this barracks for Aims. If he can take that down, it'll stop at least cut his production in half. Under fire from ground troops. Can still spam marines. Uh, we do have the Spartan picking up a second power node on the left. Forge player Reaper has not actually managed to do that. And he has a free run at this barracks. We've got 48 population for Reaper versus 24 for Ames. No double gen from uh, our second gen from either player yet, but we do have those two power nodes for Ames. Looks like he's going to go into the second generator now, but he's very low on population. He cannot fight this. He needs to uh, just use cutter speed, use the raid. Avoid it. I'm gonna trade minis instead. To be fair for him. Just put this across. My bad, my bad, my bad. Alright, there we go. That mini goes down and he's actually gonna push the main. There is already a turret there. Uh, but he does have a decently sized army. Could probably cause a lot of damage here. Second jet being upgraded, the second turret has been put down, and ODST is up for Ames. But Reaper is about to get the scatter bomb. Or at least I hope they're going to be choosing those two leader powers. That turret dropping so quickly. Looks like he actually not going to cancel the upgrade. 
actually save 300 power there uh, because his opponent killed it in time. This mini was not picked up after it was taken out. Ames did take this one out. He's going to pick that up in a second. And we do have Ames about to queue up tech two. The cutter player will be queuing up tech two. Not built his fifth pad either. Looks like he's just going to go for an odious T drop on the main base of Reaper. He has everything upgraded. That's going to be countered by a scatterbomb. He's going to be sitting in that. The Myers get taken out and one of the ODSTs do fall there. You just need to back out now. You don't want to stay there, lose your ODSTs. Just want to back off, wait for the Myers to come up and run away. But it doesn't look like he's actually watching. He's finally going to run away, but he might lose a second ODST there. Looks like he's going to get lucky. Fair turret coming up. Uh, repair about 100 power away from Tech 2. Do have the double barracks in the middle. Still hasn't built his fifth pad. But he is going to be going into Tech 2. Picks that mini up as well. Repair has not picked that mini up after clearing it out. But he definitely has the advantage here. The mines go down. Lotus mines. The Spartan Slam went down as well. The Forge was stunned. But the mines are not going to connect with it. Oh, he needs to... No, he's already used his anvil round. Yeah, that would be the juicy anvil round the way he's there. All clumped up together. He's trying to usher the forge out, trying to take him out, but it looks like he is going to be able to get away. He's going to escape as Reaper gets into tech two. Only on 18 population now versus 44. So Aim's now taking the lead. Finally going to be putting that second generator down as he hits tech two. Spartan has lost his shield, but should be able to regain that. And nobody still picked up this mini base. Aim's still on two power nerds. Our base is under Double garage going to be going down for a Reaper. Not usually what you want to be doing when you're behind like this against a cutter player. He already has the Spartan out. That's going to be Tech 2 very soon. Has a lot of marine, bunch of Marines out. ODSTs as well. Looks like he is just checking for expansions at the moment. He can take this mini up as well. And looks like we are going to see an expansion on the right-hand side by Reaper. Got some vehicles. Air pad constructed. We'll be taking that power nerd away from him as well. That will be three power nerds, two zero. And we got a couple of Cyclops coming out in the middle. Forchard going to try and get an anvil round off here. Needs to be careful. Be a juicy one though, right in the middle of the ball. The Spartan Slam completely misses as well. Forchard gets tech two. He's going to come in and try and take that Spartan out. It's his only unit he has right now as the hogs are starting to produce. Supply pad upgrade complete. Splay, thank you very much for the prime, my friend. Welcome to the stream. You should be playing in this, buddy. Fodrock did not recoup his shields as he goes back into engage. He has to get away. ODST now back up. He cannot afford it yet, but that Fodrock would be dead. The expansion for Forge is up and ready, but he does need to get that shield back. Got a Nightingale coming in now to heal up this army. Scatterbomb's back up as well. And we are going to see that Spartan hit tech 2. And Ames looking to pick up a fourth power nerd of the game. Only four power nerds on Mirage, of course. I'm healing that up. The hogs are around the map. I'm going to try and pick off some mini bases. Obviously, the double barracks in the middle is key. It is spamming Cyclops. This is going to drop really quickly. The Cyclops is actually running away, but the expansion does get upgraded and it has been scouted. I think Reaper really has the army comp to be able to deal with this cutter army, so he's just probably going to have to let that base fall. He will get a pick on this one that has not been built yet, uh, but Ames won't lose too much if he actually cancels it. And more Warthogs are being spammed now. Our base is under attack. We'll go for the push on the main. There is a one anti-vehicle turret there. More hogs coming out. 
This expansion is going to drop. It's going for a push on the man. We got a scatter bomb on the anti-vehicle too. Great action missile down the side there, connecting with every single Warthog. Anti-vehicle turret, luckily for Reaper, is actually focusing the Forge Hog, so he's only going to lose his shields, barely there. Going to take down the air pad and the gen as well. This is might be a full strip, but on the opposite side, Ames is choosing not to come home and defend. He won't make it in time. Uh, he won't be able to make any damage mitigation there. Instead, he's going to go for a push in on the main of Reaper. Both players on one base, of course. Yeah, but Ames does have more mini bases, so he will have more pad slots if they do happen to base trade. Jen's getting stripped. And here is the push. That Spartans vet one as well. Got a leader point up. That will be the ODST assault group. Probably going to drop it on offense. You definitely don't want to try and defend against this amount of hogs. It is just a base trade situation right now. Uh, and this is where both players should be looking at picking up another base while this is going on. They've both got the economy to do it. Uh, but that is obviously what you want to do in a base trade. I definitely favor Ames in the base trade, even though he's losing his main first. He does have four power nodes to keep him going. He has three mini bases to one as well. And there is the ODST assault group coming down. He should just main this down. Needs to pick up the expansion. Heal does go down on his main. Does pick up another base. So Reaper uh, going to be picking up another base there. He needs to take these nodes. Needs to clear these minis. Unless he's just going to look for Ames second base. Unfortunately Ames does pick the wrong base there. He doesn't have a lot of blue. He needs to cancel this. He has the stronger head-on army, but he still hasn't managed to clear Reaper's main. Still focusing the turrets. He could have killed this by now if he decides to main it down. Reaper almost has his new main built. And Aim's going to be picking up another expansion. But that is being hunted down by Reaper, who now double bases with his economy. Ames has no blue. He has upgraded the supply, one supply pad at least, uh, on the mini base. He should have got rid of that barracks and put another supply pad uh, down. And this base, once again, going to get taken away. The main finally falls. This base is down. He's back on an 18-second clock. He's trying to take this base, but he doesn't have 15 seconds to wait. Oh, he gets taken in front of him. This is it. He's been choked out. The game is over. Reaper going to be the winner in game number one with a crazy base trade situation. And Ames doesn't have enough time to actually buy that base there. And Reaper going to be winning game number one. Don't worry, Edge, I did it, I did it. We cool, we cool. Got into game two now of group three. Reaper already at the top of the leaderboards. And we're gonna be seeing Serena versus Decimus. Interesting pick from Reaper here. Only Voridus is banned in this tournament. Uh, there is no player bans. Too much hassle to get player bans from these guys, especially if they're on Xbox. <clears throat> you can repeat in the groups because obviously you have a new opponent every single game in the group you will not be able to repeat leaders in the eliminations when we get to that stage so there is four groups of four today 16 uh, novice players uh, which are basically ranked onyx and low champ some maybe slightly higher mid champ uh, like ramon maybe jubeka um, but everyone's got a shot in the groups it's all best of one, so you win a best of one, you get two points, uh, and you play three people in your group, possible of six points. If the game goes to 45 minutes, it is a draw, so both players get one point. Due back as Decimus here, going to be going gen fed, opening up Chopper, has a rally point on there as well. Watchtower constructed. We have two Marines come in to harass the Chopper. Should be able to push him off or do so a decent amount of damage. So he's going to be picking up all of his power here. Jubaka might go for a mini steal. 
Chopper kind of wasting his time now. Reaper going to be able to get all of the power there. I did go triple harvester. This one going to be jumping into the garrison. Add the watchtower up so he can take the back mini, uh, but Jubaga is going to be able to steal this one. This marine now needs to go back to this mini and pick it up before the chopper comes around, otherwise he's going to lose that one as well. Can now upgrade his generator from collecting power on his side with the grunts, and all the power and resources in the middle has almost been picked up by Reaper. And it's going to be starting to work on his first power node. we got an armory coming up fifth, so we will be seeing the bison this game. And Jubaka is going to be picking up another mini base. And we do have the barracks on the back. So we're going to see some cryo troopers come out probably just to clear these minis. And Jubaka very soon will be on five mini bases to one. We do have a power nerd for Reaper now. Picked up very early. Marines coming out with a couple of cryo troopers. Bison not queued. Cannot afford it. Leader point earned. Harvester constructed. Not seeing much in the terms of units come out from Jubaka yet. Just a harvester on one of the stolen minis. Can we get some anti-air support ASAP? And another supply pad on the stolen mini. We're picking up a second power note, so we're gonna get a nice power income for Reaper. Going to catch up a little bit from that Gen 4th, and we are going to see the freeze of the Cryo Troopers split on each side. The Aura going to be freezing the supply pads, slowing the supply pad income down. And Jubaka just recover on his side, putting supply pads down on the Stellar Minis, and picking up his first power node as well. We do have the Ice Nodes in the middle, and a third power node about to be picked up for Reaper. So far, so good for him, apart from the two Stellar Minis. Shrapnel Mines, coming up for Jubaka, so we're going to be seeing Grunts with Shrapnel Mines. I think that's going to fare too well, the Bison's now out, almost has her upgrade. we got Cry Troopers and Marines in the middle, trying to steal this Power Node away. He's about to be on three Power Nodes, if he can secure this, this is going to be bad for Jubaka. We do have a Chopper on the way in, so he should be able to ram that off and deny it, and he's going to do just that. Actually using the double ram there, should have probably saved one for the next marine that tries and takes that. Uh, Cryo Mine's not the best. Should have probably pushed up to the main a bit more, but he's going to try and take down some of these units. Has left uh, two Cryo Troopers on the stolen minis, so that's good from him. And he is pressurizing the army. No turret on the main from Jubaka yet. Going to back all the way around. And Reaper going to be pushing up to his main base. The turret's coming up, but that is 30 seconds away. Plus, you need um, an anti-vehicle upgrade for this bison. He doesn't have really anything to stop her. The bison can be locking down at the front of the base. Normally, you want to get it, like, right in these crevices here to just freeze everything. Man's going down. The turret is up. It is out of the aura of the bison, so he's going to want to get that anti vehicle as quickly as possible. Being frozen by the cryo troopers, though. Pretty even on population, but Reaper does have four power nodes behind this. And Jupac had just been frozen now. Just nothing coming out of him, just grunts. I don't think he's going to be able to uh, hold this. Needed a second turret to come up here. That turret does fall. Bison still on the main. Uh, this looks really bad for Jubaka. Already take two for Reaper. Double gen. Uh, Reaper looking strong in his group right now. Had a sketchy first game with the base trade. Managed to pull through and looks like he's about to secure a second win. And Jubak is just frozen. Almost has enough power to go tech two, but he's never going to get it. His gen's frozen. The base will be frozen. Power. 
<laughs> she is Vex. She's helping me out today. Mini base is almost killed. Just a bison left. Do you pack a... Did he q tech it? No, he's still not there. He's got a vortex there. So the vortex goes down, but every grunt freezes so the mines don't pull off. Bison's still locked down here. Heal goes down. He's really trying to kill our grunts. The bison is going to fall. Doesn't really matter because he's now in tech two. He's about to clear the two stolen mini bases and he has four power nerds. Finally gets that second gen up after holding off and he's about to hit tech two now. He does have 50 population, but he desperately needs these power nerds. Combat tech being researched. I'm being hit by enemy troops. I Still has a beam in the back pocket me. as well. Has lost all of those mini bases now. So the map should be looking pretty even very soon. I would have liked the Reaper of to scene Reaper of picking up uh, an expansion behind all of that. Uh, but he's kind of falling short now. New backer gets tech two. Needs to upgrade that generator and walk into some mines at the edge of his base there as well. But he is managing to secure three power nerds. Reaper still holding the one. I found you going down. He could have afforded the third gen. And here is another push by Reaper. We got the combat tech marines in the middle. We got a single nightingale as well to support it. And the bison is back out. And this time she is tech too. Sharp shooter. We point out Serena again. Serena proving popular so far in this tournament. Reaper showing that he has a uh, an abundance of leaders in his leader pool. He's going to be pulling out Atriox on Frontier. We are now getting started. Going to be seeing the Gen first chopper opener. That's going to set him back on a lot of blue early on. And sharpshooter 
Now Serena, we're going to be seeing the double supply pad, Marine opener from him. If Reaper wins this, he completely annihilates his group. Going to be going through first in his group. Uh, with six points, but he is actually the only one to play so far. Um, everybody playing Reaper first. And then we'll go on to the other game. So we'll see Sharpshooter versus Jubaka next. Jubaka hoping to redeem himself. And we'll see what Sharpshooter can do here. Chopper going to be ramming the Marine. And we have the mini base being picked up in the middle very quickly as well. Going to be shooting the Sentinels and trying to escape the Marine here. We should build a generator. And soon. Generator constructed. I didn't know. Where's my mods at doing the verts? Come on, guys. Harvester constructed. Augmented harvester upgrade complete. We have to sack them. Generator, Generator being upgraded. Just the one mini base. We are seeing early cryo troopers come out. Wait, what's going on here? See, no armory from Reaper. A late pickup on the power on the left. Sharpshooter pick it up. Almost all the power on the right. Got a weak marine coming to heal as well. He looking good. Reaper picking up the middle mini. Crytrip is already coming in. Chopper does scout that. And we are seeing the turret being preemptively put up at the main base to try and avoid this. Uh, but really, no chosen. And there is no snipers from Sharp, so the chosen would be so good here. Nothing on enemy. the middle yet. Point that one chopper going to be taking down the cry trooper that comes in. We've got enemy vehicles after us. Second turret coming up. This one's still building. It's still caught in the ice, but it is going to get up eventually. Going to be spamming choppers into this. Picking up an expansion right next to sharpshooters, man. With no minis, pretty much. That is ballsy. So we're going to get frozen. The ice blocks come down on the choppers. I think he might hold this, but both players still on a single mini base. Reaper's not actually uh, built on that one. This turret being upgraded to anti-infantry. As the second turret gets focused down by the cry troopers. Generator has been frozen. That's going to slow down his power income for a while. Just needs to get rid of the cryo troopers. Needs choppers coming from the middle minion. Probably needs to put a Rax or a War Council on there. Economy being frozen for the time being. This expansion almost built. Imagine if he goes triple raid camp on this. Now outpost has now been constructed. I think we've got two cryo troopers left here. Uh, but the choppers are being picked off by the marines, which do now have grenade for her. Yeah, we got double racks going down on the expansion right next to his base. I don't think this is really necessary. I would have preferred him to pick up his minis, uh, put a raid camp on this mini instead, and obviously get the chosen. Then all in Serena push, uh, the one mini base push. He is now doubling back to pick up more mini bases. This turret being upgraded probably wants to cancel it because it's almost dead. Yeah, seeing a single watchtower on Sharpshooter's main as well, and we now now seeing the jump pad brutes come out for him. Supply pad is in the middle, but another cryo trooper there. The base is now being made down by these cryo troopers. His economy is so poor right now. The jump pad brutes coming across to the middle. Uh, looks like he's preparing for his second generator, but Sharpshooter looking very good here with Serena. Should double raid camp on here. Uh, Shapshuer has scouts on all of the minis. He realizes Reaper does not have any of the minis. Oh, 
Yeah, this is getting man down, and the aura of the ice, the AoE going through, he's freezing all of his pads as well. Wow, that's a lot of marines coming back to defend, actually. Ten marines and a cry troop are going to be defending against all of these jump out brutes. The cockiness. This is a novice tournament. We got the balls on Sharpshooter going to be dropping a heal on Reapers, man. That's so disrespectful. Is this B-Safe on his account? What's going on? So it looks like Reaper can be stopped. Sharpshooter may top the group. I mean, Reaper took down the other two opponents. And he is going to resign. Sharpshooter going to be winning this game. Started, we're going to see Jubaka back with his famous Yap Yap on Mirage here versus Isabel from Sharpshooter. Sharpshooter has two points. Jubaka so far has no points in this tournament. Needs to win this to have a chance of going through to the knockouts. All right, here we go. We're going to be seeing the Sharpshooter picking up blue early with both his Marines here. Open up supply by the Marine as well. So normally you would expect a Yap Yap player to steal mini bases. Um, Jubaka might be doing that since he is not opening up Chopper. And he is pathing towards the mini bases. Sharp is on his minis, should be able to uh, pick up at least one of them. Jubaka might get the steal on the other. No, he has, looks like he has enough blue. He's going at supply pad fed as well. Oh, caught slow. Caught out there. Too slow picking up the mini base. Uh, Jubaka going to be able to steal that one from him. Supply pad constructed. And there is the Gen 4th from Sharpshooter. Jubaka doubling back for all his mini bases. Picked up the one on the left. Prompted for that one. He could take the middle as well. But Sharp hasn't gone to challenge the uh, power in the middle yet. And a fodder picking that up. Maybe able to steal this mini. Fastest hands wins. Jubaka going to be able to take it. Gets a nice scout on the main as well. Uh, only just has enough power to upgrade his generator and after picking up the power there. Jubaka looking really strong early on in this game. Got a raid camp coming up from him on the left side. Hey, quite thank you for the gifted sub. Appreciate it. And Jubaka going to be cancelling this uh, once Sharp runs away. I thought he was going to go for the second generator there. Uh, without cancellation and sharpshooter going to be picking up the double so he has a double and a single he still has the same amount of pad slots uh, we do have a second raid camp from uh, Jubaka so we're going to be seeing grunt riders go in on the main here there is no turrets don't see a spartan and we have no barracks as of yet so this is looking very rough for uh, sharpshooter at the moment going to be seeing a rabbit spam come out from him maybe he'll go accelerate assembly second who knows Mini base uh, but the Grunt Liners already going to be focusing down uh, that generator. Barracks in the middle. Very lit. Why is it? Oh, it's in the middle. Constructed. Oh, yeah. Free Redak Rabbits here. The chopper's gonna go in on one of them. One of them does die. We got Grunt Riders all over the place. This generator almost down. 
Chopper almost gets picked off, but those Grunt Rabbits definitely going to be able to take down that generator. Gen falls. Chopper's going to be abusing the Jackrabbits now. While the Grunt Riders have free reign on the main base. Another pad falls, that generator coming back up. More Grunt Riders and Choppers on the way to deal with these Jackrabbits. And he's going to man it down. Oh, a decoy comes in on the Rabbits. It tries best to defend against these Grunt Riders, but they are manning it down for whatever crazy reason. Safe bet is to take the pads. Another supply pad falls. Our base is under attack. Supply pad constructed. Under attack by enemy vehicles. Base under attack. I've got enemy vehicles. I mean, the game is all but over now. Dubak getting a leader point as well. Hasn't swapped to a second generator yet. Spamming more choppers. One Grunt Rider remains, but Sharpshooter just has nothing to be able to defend against this. More choppers taking out the jackrabbits. Flame is in the middle. No turret on the base. Thought I'm gonna man it down now. The flame is going to the main adieu back. He does have one turret up. Second one on the way. I don't think he'll be able to do too much with this flame push uh, to bring him back into the game. But the chopper's going back anyway. A couple of heavy guns here. Morgan Riders on the way. Turret coming up. Focus in the turret down. That is anti infantry. Chopper's on the way back. This flavor pushes over. Shoot back and playing a lot better this game than he did against Reaper. So gonna pay for that. It's going to be a tight group if the players keep trading games like this. And there you have it. Jubaka going to be uh, putting some points on the board. He's going to be beating Sharpshooter here in Group 3. The leaders are. We're going to be seeing Serena again. Fire versus Ice this time, though. We've seen Serena from Sharpshooter. Kinsana versus from Ames. Let's go. All right, let's go. We're going to be seeing the Armory first. Bison from Sharpshooter Serena here. Everything happening. Gen second. Oh, this is crazier than a normal champ tournament. Armory constructed. This is insane. We're not going to get very far without a generator. This is Sharpshooter's final game. 1-1, one, one, lost one. Uh, technically, if he loses, he's probably out of the group. Out of the tournament. Generator constructed. There's the gen. And we are seeing the Marines from Ames push down the middle. Going to deny some of this power. Got gen fed from him. This Marine is going to be running away. Supply pad go down. Marine Supply go pad to pad the middle. Needs more blue. 
doesn't quite have enough to pick up the base, upgrade the basin yet. He hasn't managed to take most of his power. Here comes the bison. He sees it. So I go down the middle. Upgrade is on the way as well. Oh uh, yeah, he's immediately put a turret down. So, I mean, what Shark wants to do when he sees the turret is basically go plant his ass right next to it. Turret almost up. He's going to want to get uh, that anti-vehicle as soon as possible. And a turret up on the opposite side, to be honest, because the bison is going for that turret. I would cancel that mini base, put a turret here. Yeah, or if the base doesn't sit there, you just put it here. There we go. Aim's doing exactly that. This one won't be able to get upgraded because it will be frozen by the time anything happens. And we got barracks going down now. Aim's does have 500 power. Barracks going down. Not sure the barracks is really going to do anything. Uh, is almost up. He will be able to get that anti-vehicle and he will be able to hold this. Turret constructed. Doubling back for his mini bases. You have to upgrade that instantly. Yeah, there we go. It's been upgraded now. Shields come off. Our base is under attack. Turret is being focused down. Ames has no blue. This probably should have been a supply pad and uh, actually upgrading it. Supply pad actually getting taken out as the turret is focused. We got a hell drop on the bison. She's going to get stunned. Anti vehicle turret about to be upgraded. Anti infantry! Oh my god, he fucked up. He doesn't have really anything to stop the bison. So the anti-infantry turret, pretty pointless because he does have flamers and marines and snipers to be able to stop the cryo troopers. Ice block's gonna be coming down as well. And trap shooter is spamming cryo troopers. I think we just got a hell charge. We got a hell charge on the couple of units here right next to the bison. Side vehicle turret gets frozen by the bison. She's not going to be able to get a shield. She will fall eventually. He has upgraded the supply pad on the back, so he is going to get a bit more economy while his base is being frozen. His hell charge units actually counter being countered because of the ice. Uh, Sharpshooter has 30 population now. Aims just 15. If that turret was anti vehicle, the bison would have been stopped and he would have won this game. But now it does look like Sharpshooter is actually going to win this. The bison gets its shield slightly back as that flamer comes in. And all he's really got on fair point is a drop turret. And it is now 36 pop versus 18. There is nothing in the bank for Ames. Leader power ready. He'll drop back up. Supply pad constructed. He's gonna have to use it. He's almost lost his gen. Oh, the bison gets her shield almost all the way back up, and this looks like it is definitely over now. Our base is under attack. Ames just made one vital mistake. The turret needed to be anti-vehicle, not anti-infantry. And that looks like that is that. Our uh, sharpshooter gonna be taking that game. Base is under attack. Just upgrade this now. These guys 
We need to get some supply pads down here. Leader point earned. And Ames gets knocked out by sharpshooter. Alright, so we might have a freeway tie in this group if Jubaka beats Ames. Um, which means we're going to have to replay all again, I think. Let's have a look. All right, potentially final game of the group, which will decide a tiebreaker. And we're going to be seeing Atriox versus Johnson from AIM. Some crazy picks in these best of ones this tournament. Someone picked Almy player card. There you go. There is the Almirante player card. Thanks for your money. <laughs> what the fuck? All right, Ames. You should have been Serena to do this, but he's going to be Johnson bunkering first. I think he's probably given up hope after the uh, the last couple of matches. Come on, we need power. Get a generator, people. Chopper in the middle from Jubak are going to be stealing some of the power. This is gonna get stolen. Oh, generator down. My mech's under area or so. Supply pad constructed. Mini base complete. There's the second power nerd. Being picked up by Ames. Uh, Jupac does have the war council up, but nothing coming out yet. Oh, uh, the bracket's wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. One sec. guys two turrets on the main base of Jubaka. Johnson is coming in even though he went armory first he's only just getting the upgrade now Chosen is here about to get his upgrade he's gonna be tough into two turrets yeah that Chosen is upgraded probably gonna drop a bunker down like he could have made this push without going Armory first. Smart missile research. Got the bunker down. Really needed a mini. Oh, the plasma mines go down. Uh, the plasma's gonna sit down the bunker. That's gonna pretty much deny that. Uh, it looks like we will be going to a tiebreaker.
All right, yep, yeah, this is over. Doesn't look like he has digging in. These turrets are not healing. Trucks is vet one. Dubrak are taking all of the nerds. Our base is under attack. Oh, there we go. Johnson is back out. Uh, two turrets are about to fall. And it is 49 population versus 9. Johnson's dead. Get a generator, people. Are we going to be seeing Arby versus Atriox? On frontier here, Sharpshooter are picking a lot of different leaders. True power is true. I might get a banana or something. Oh, we got Duke back as Atriox is going to be opening up Chopper, and we are seeing a single grunt from Sharpshooter. Takes the mini immediately. Yes, Bitties, this is a novice tournament. You should have joined. <laughs> UV Oceans in the finals. You can see them challenging on the power on the left hand side. Chopper comes across from Dubak as well, going to be denying half the power here. Sharp going to be shooting the Sentinels, trying to get rid of the Chopper. Uh, Dubak does have the power on the right to himself. Gen Fed from both players. And we are seeing a raid camp in the middle. This might be the uh, classic Nintendo hippie one mini RB enforcer all in cheese. Can't deny a War Council 5th if you get enough enforcers there fast enough. Just keep using the Y ability, stasis in the armory so the Chosen comes out a lot slower. And um, when you do have enough there, you can just drop it with the Conduit of Rage mines. Uh, Gefinit is not in this. He couldn't play today. He did join, but he had to work. Uh, otherwise, he would have been in it. Chosen 43 seconds out. First Enforcer is on the way from Sharpshooter. It did pick up a second mini base. Uh, and Jubaka did steal one as well. Our base is 
Um, Arsenal, it was basically just, I decided, I'm the matchmaker, the Don King, Eddie Hearn of Halo Wars 2. Looks like Chosen's going to come out. The upgrade will be denied, though. It was like Onyx, low champ, mid champ, basically not the really good top players, high level players. What comes going to get denied? Uh, that means Chosen is basically going to do not a lot of damage here, but the Plasma Mines are going to go down. Do we have the walk? Yeah, the walk is going to be rebuilt on the opposite side of the match, so he will eventually be able to get the upgrade. He just has to keep the Chosen alive for the meantime. Going into Stasis. Oh, that's another walk council coming up. I don't know why he'd build another one. Chosen literally does no damage. I guess it's just to um, make him focus it. Yeah, a turret coming up now as well. Plasma rounds almost here, so this push is probably going to get stopped. Dying the War Council would be better for him to actually kill the gen. Do have Cloak on the grunts? The turret gets denied. Still sending more grunts and enforcers, try and take down this Chosen. The Chosen has his upgrade. Shapa's Fate, Population Vest is 15. Grunts at the moment, could have walked into those mines. Chosen is getting focused down. We now have a watchtower coming up, so all these grunts are probably going to die. Chosen's going to pick them all off. Look at that AoE damage. Jibaka doing really well to keep him alive. Could have turned around and killed them all. And we do have a red camp from the single mini base that Jubaka picked up. Doesn't power in through the middle now. Some more units are in club, but the Chosen did get his shields back. He came back up to the mines as well. Jubaka is doubling back to pick up some more mini bases. First power node can be picked up for Sharp. We're under attack from their infantry. Really need to be proactively picking up these minis. A Sui coming out. Our base is under attack. Less than a lot. He should have swapped into the uh, Arbiter uh, later on here with that push. Clock goes down once more. There is a suicide going here. Probably going to eat the plasma mines though. Yep. Yeah. All three go off. Sui blows up. Chosen once again gets away with his shield still up. And he's going to hunt down a couple of more units. The AoE actually killing some of the cloaked grunts. One power node was picked up. Sui in. Chosen's out by himself. Could be a costly mistake for Jubaka. Once again, Tango in around. Second gen comes up for Sharp. Second gen up for Jubaka as well. He's snagged that mini for himself. The other player is still pretty low on population here. Jubaka almost enough to go tech 2. He has a lot of blue as well. Sharpshooter pretty much exhausted his bank. Our base is under attack. Augmented extractor upgrade complete. Mini base complete. Be back about to get tech two now. Mr. Constructed. Once again, pushing up on the Chosen. 
Our war council is coming up late. These are all in cloak. Oh, he cancelled his shot on the suicide grunts. Oh, that's some good damage going down there. He's going to run into the mines. Oh, my God. Chapshu just lost everything to those plasma mines. That was juicy. Chosen gets vet one. Chap about to get tech two. Oh, that was really bad for him. Backer has picked up another mini base. That chosen will be tech two and a vet one very shortly. The mini base can get cleaned out by this single enforcer. Do you have a ranger on the way? Where'd he come from? I right, probably came from here and just double back. No mini base game cleared out. Red camp in an air pad up. Second red camp in the middle, so we are going to be seeing some of those rangers come out. Dubaka spamming rangers, not quite getting his upgrade yet, but he's going to take that mini base back with the ranger after the enforcer had died. No expansions from either player. I think he's probably going to need a shroud first instead of engineers, to be honest, just to stop this Chosen somehow. Uh, but Chewbacca does have a decent amount of grunts uh, to be able to take that down. And ranges for detect also. He's going to be building a shroud. More ranges on the way. He's only on two mini bases, but he does have two power nerds. And Chewbacca picking up a power nerd as well. Looking for his expansion now. Dubak are doing the same, and we're picking them up at pretty similar times. Yeah, but this Chosen is looking very nasty. That's going to be the problem for Sharpshooter in this game. Turret constructed. is under attack. Chewbacca now going to be making a push on this mini base in the middle. That range is going to get cleaned out. Chewbacca does have five ranges and more on the way. His expansion up and running, not actually built on it yet. And the Chosen is out here. Plasma Mines go down again, but the Shroud is going to be blocking the shots as the rangers push onto him. Going to drop the Plasma, uh, the Conduit Mines as well be able to chase down the Chosen. He's wiggling away, dodging those Rager shots like an absolute boss. Gonna stasis the rest of the army, including his mini base. We're gonna see a beam come down. The Shroud has to get out of there. The Shroud does back away. That Chosen is weak, but the beam gonna be killing a lot of those Rangers. Both no players trying to make plays here, and Jubaka is gonna be able to keep that leader alive. We've got Fair Jane coming up for him and an air pad. Expansion now up for Sharpshooter as well. That is being upgraded. Another Shroud on the way with more Rangers. Oh, a couple of Banshees as well in the mix. This is a choke point. And Chewbacca is funneling into. Luckily, Arbe does not have a beam or anything to be able to take down that entire army. Here comes the push by Chewbacca onto the main, pushing the army back. A shield generator coming up. Second raid camp on the expansion, which is about to be upgraded. Dubak is going to be backing away, and it looks like he's going to go for a push on the expansion. As he leaves some units to clean out the mini base in the middle. Yeah, here's the push now. There's going to be a turret coming up on here, no shield. Still fair free population for Sharpshooter versus 68 for Dubak. He's looking very good right now. That's a lot of rangers. Six rangers, in fact. There's the cloak. The plasma mines are up. Oh, they're going to get picked off along with that turret. So this mine's ready. He could probably kill the Chosen here. Suicide Group goes in the middle. Oh, he's going to connect with everything. But when it comes down very late, this Chosen's going to die. He didn't take teleport because he took beam. The Chosen is now in stasis, but all of these rangers should be able to clean up. 
has to text because of the ranges, but the shroud is blocking the chosen shots. Oh, there is the teleport. Just got it in time. Chewbacca is going to save his leader, but that was looking bad for him. Fair generator now coming up for sharpshooter. Trying to get himself back in this game. Uh, he's only on one mini base. Chewbacca still hasn't built on his expert. Just the air pad up. I do have two shrouds. No engines from him. A couple of engines in sharpshooter's army composition would be very good for him here since Chewbacca does have no reavers and no foundry, in fact. No foundry at all. Forgetting to build on his mini bases and his expansion. Sharpshooter 2, to be honest. Rangers gunning down the shroud. Got two of those now. It's just been upgraded. Is that shield gen? We do have a shield gen coming up. I'll be going to be playing it very defensively. I'll do back at upgrades to tech free. Remember, this is the tiebreaker, guys. We've got a three-way tie in this group. Finally, let me see the Arbiter come out. Leader power ready. War council constructed. Shield tower constructed. Other man's got down again, they're gonna get picked up by all of these rangers. Once more, the Chosen comes in to try and pick some units off. We've got the War Council coming up. This will very soon be a tech free Chosen. Uh, and we will see Wraiths coming out. Or well, hopefully, we're gonna see Wraiths coming out. Yeah, there is the double foundry from Dubaka, so we will be seeing Wraiths very shortly, uh, which is gonna put Sharpshooter in a very bad spot. There's a push of beam coming down right in the middle. The stasis comes down. Probably could have done with using that on his own army, to be honest. That would have been the better play, because that beam just obliterates Sharpshooter's army. Down to 26 population. This Chosen is tech free, and this Arbor is not upgraded. Just premature there. Very premature. Sharpshoot are going to be uh, picking up a third base. Leader power ready. Our base is under attack. Shroud systems ready for battle. Reaver's going to get it picked off, but Jubak is just throwing them away. Uh, he's waiting for the Rave production to come out now. Sharpshooter now going into tech three. Probably going to want to get some riffs of his own. It's on 27 population versus 80 for Dubaka. But he's just building up, waiting to break this. Scouts the third. It's going to all unit over there. Take that down. More riffs on the way. Did get reinforcements as well. We have been engaged by ground troops. Our base is under attack. Banshee's coming out. I, am up against I would say it's a big engagement, but Sharpshooter has no units here really. That is literally his army. 38 population. This is 83. In this fed base, gonna get taken down. Jubaka pretty much owns the map. He has four power nerds to one. Our base is under attack. Near point earned.
The enemy has captured our power node. Banshee in the war zone. Our base is under attack. No, but we're jumping over top here. It's the push from G backer. Should be able to drop the shield pretty quickly. Why Billy goes down from the Arbor, gonna be buffing his unit slightly. Still 75 population versus 92. Couple of hunters in the mix. There goes the Mastasis by the looks of things, I believe. Didn't quite see that. Dying Breath looks like it has been used on these units as well. The Wraith's falling. A lot of engines here. Do I have two turrets in the mix? They are not upgraded. Phantom's coming out from Sharpshooter. Uh, he is tech free. Ah, they're going to be running away, but this Chosen seems to be the problem. He needs to get the Hunters in the Phantoms. There we go. He's going to be putting the Hunters in the Phantoms to deal with these Rifts. More mines go down. Crocking the Conduit, and the Abbey comes around to the back as well. A3 population versus 63. Dubaka with a lot of power. Sharpshooter with a lot of blue. Suicide Hunt goes in. The Chosen gets Vet 2, and those Rangers just melt to that Sui. Beam coming down once more. The last two beams were really bad for Sharp, uh, and he doesn't split out of this one either. He's going to eat that one. Um, everything once more just disappears with that beam, and Ab uh, is running away. Red bar. The shield gets dropped. They have sent a vehicle after me. Chosen is Vet 2. Turn. Oh, the E right on top as well. Our allies are in danger. And there you have it. Do you back are gonna win this one? We will see Sharp versus Reaper next. Uh, because obviously if Sharp does win that, he's out. All right, guys, we're going to be seeing Isabel versus Forge. All right, while this is going on, at least at the start of the game, um, so group one has concluded. Uh, Ramon Dash will be topping the group with three wins, zero losses. Uh, he'll be going through his first seed. Elite Unit 17 uh, will be in second place with two wins, one loss. Uh, then we had Big Dog Swang with one win, two losses, and Shrekker with zero wins, three losses, bottom in that group. In group two, that is actually still going on. As it stands at the moment, we have Crew 6 through as fair seed with three straight wins. Um, I'm too Spartan with three straight losses, uh, and Soul of Killer versus Ducky Alarm um, in their final game. The winner of that will go through as second seed. As you are seeing here, group three, we currently have Dubak on four, Sharpshooter on four, and Reaper on four with Ames knocked out. Uh, and we're doing a tiebreaker between those three. Dubaka already won one of his tiebreakers, and we're now seeing Sharpshooter versus Reaper. The Armory fifth. Our oh, Reaper, so we'll be seeing a Forge Hog, nothing yet from Sharpshooter. And in the final group, group four. Uh, we see OG Sammy on four, top in the group so far. Hayden the Chief on four in second place. Jeremy on two points and Dorito um, at the bottom of the group with zero points there. So it is OG Sammy and Hayden the Chief progressing through on that. I think Hayden tops that group. It doesn't show as him topping the group, but he did beat Sammy in a head-to-head, -head, so he should be topping that group as fair seed. I'll have to double-check that after these games. Supply pad constructed.
Uh, we're going to be seeing Sharp going into Jackrabbits with support drone. Fortrock out. Not looking good. We do have a push to the main base. Jackrabbit's going all the way around the right-hand side. There is a huge push to his main base. So Fortrock, Marines, and Flamers. Both players have one power node. Our base is under attack. So if Reaper wins this, Sharpshooter will be out off the tie break, but we will see Reaper versus Jubaka to see who will top the group. Thank you for the follow as well, Malohaya. Now after the groups are over as well, uh, we'll be taking like a five, ten minute break um, to sort out the elimination rounds and who's going to be playing who. Uh, we'll probably post it on stream, or you can check exclamation mark bracket. And I also want to grab a snack as well. That is a great anvil round in the middle of all of those jack rabbits. Some of them are obviously hollows. That Fordog needs to get a move on. The gen falls. It's getting blocked. Ford needs to keep moving. You can dodge the jack rabbit shots if you keep the forge moving. He did sit still for a while. And the forge are going to try and get his shield back. are in trouble. Generator constructed. Fordrog not coming back in. He's actually running away getting his shield back, leaving all of his marines to die to these jackrabbits. He did take the gen though, so with Forger's economy, he should be pretty good to seal this game out. Uh, he's on a double gen. They are upgraded. Scabble comes down. It's going to completely miss. Gets one real jackrabbit. Catches a hollow, but it does go down on the supply pads. Fordrog is back, barely getting his shield. And now lost it again. He may as well have just stayed in the fight. Macrobit's going to try and chase him away. Let's show him being upgraded once more. Yeah, Fortnite's getting caught out here. He needs to be careful. Going to get a good anvil around in the choke, though. Could probably take all these out without dying, to be honest. Uh, chasing him. Got to use it. Needs to use the ammo round. What is going on? You're just going to let him die. The Jackrabbit is going to take on the Fortune. Ammo round goes down on top of himself. He still dies anyway. He takes a lot of Jackrabbits down with him, but he's upgraded to tech too. Here is the upgrade to tech too. We got the armory coming back up. Nobody picked up the double in the middle. 18 population for Reaper. Uh, he does have two turrets on the main though, so he should be pretty safe, but he might lose his minis. There is the double picks up for Sharpshooter. Uh, he needs to get onto a second generator ASAP. Uh, he can almost go into tech 2 himself, to be honest. Our base is under attack. Not opting to clear out the mini bases. There's the double garage. Fortrog on his way back out. There is the second gen now from Sharpshooter as he upgrades to Tech 2 as well. He's going to be stealing the power node away. An armor going up in the middle for him also. And now finally going to be putting pressure on the mini bases. Reaper has all of these pads on his main upgraded. Can get a Tech 2 Fortrog as well. Has the power for it. Gets tech two. Not putting anything down. There we go. His cat comes over. Just a supply pad. Uh, Alice on the way. And this isn't really going to hold this hog spam. Fortune hog spam. It's going to be tough for him to deal with. Defensive aura five seconds out. The expansion picks up for Reaper on the left hand side as well. All he needs is an anvil around scatter bomb right now in that shirt point, and all of that would be dead. There it goes. 
No scatter to follow. That's why you, you tend to not go vehicles against the forge. One anvil scatter can literally end your life. Has no detect, so he does think all of these are real. They're actually not. Alice is out. She won't be upgraded. Got a garage going up. Cancelled the supply pad for a garage. Bit late though. Doesn't have. Uh, it is upgrading that generator now. Two nodes going to help him a little bit, but Reaper has had two upgraded gens for a long time. Takes down the double in the middle now as well, and Alice will not be upgraded. Has the expansion been upgraded? All of those hollows now disappearing, and this is a lot of hogs coming out for him. Constructed. Too many bases Our are open. Rebuilds the armory, but this mini won't last long enough for him to actually get the upgrade for Alice. Does pick up the double again. It's expansion now. Upgraded. No lie, it's not looking good for Sharp. But three people uh, voting for Sharp to win this. Points are at risk. Mini base complete. It's 44 population versus 43. Turret upgraded. That's all the way out here. She hasn't been upgraded yet. It's like a push to the main. Probably not going to get a lot done. And he's throwing a few hogs away in the middle as well. Our base is under attack. Trying all the way around. Hogs are being taken out. One thing I have noticed about the players, obviously, in this group. Uh, they clean out minis and never pick them up after killing them. Expansion gets scouted. But another two bases picked up for Reaper. S throw the scout bomb out there anyway. Sharp's just going to eat it. He's going to lose a couple of hogs, a couple of rabbits. Mini base going to fall. Got two anti-vehicle turrets on the main of Sharpshooter. Probably going to get this expansion, uh, but Reaper's going to do a lot of damage to his main base, and that is his only base, so that will be here all of his economy. He has no other pads, except what is on his main here. Sharp shoot upgrading to tech free now. The turrets are getting focused down. One falls, Matt goes down on the forge hot. Gonna come down, it's not an EMP, so it does not stun like Johnson's does. This leader still unupgraded. He's not got a lot done here, to be honest. Uh, Kodiak's come down as well. This will be the first pad he's killing. They get a slam on the Kodiak, obviously, does not have hijack. All the Hawks now coming back. Well, let's call it out. Hollow decoy comes down on the hogs. Oh, it's trying to get away. He needs to ram the forge up to death. Rams go down on the forge. Oh, can't Slide kill it though. It's too strong. Take two. It's almost dead, but the Kodiak's doing so much damage to these hogs. And this looks like it might be the end of the game. Reaper winning this fight hard. He's got defensive aura around his units as well. And Sharpshooter losing everything in this fight. Desperately trying to take out that forge hog. Kodiak's helping massively, loses everything, down to 7 population, on one base, and Reaper is going to win his qualifier. We will see Reaper versus Jubaka. Sharpshooter is out of the tournament, out of the group, and we will see Jubaka play against Reaper to see who tops this group.
All right, we're going to see Pavium versus Kinsana. Should be a good one. To top the group. Uh, no, only Vorodus is banned. Uh, there is no player bans in this tournament. Oh, one sec. These are not picks you normally see from the top players. Um, obviously, these are best at one, so you get a new opponent every game, so repeats are allowed. Pavium versus Kinsano in this best of one is just crazy considering the amount of top leaders who are out there. Forge, yeah. Ship Desi. Augmented harvester upgrade. So mobster, how are you doing? We need power if we are to crush these fools. Chopper hungry for blood. Gen Fed from Reaper. Gonna pick up that mini as well. Turn fired from Jewbacker. Obviously, the bear not going down on the double supply pad there. Open with a double chopper. Should be able to pick off two Marines here. I'll get the Grunt to steal some power as well. Splits them eventually. Nothing on the mini. Thank you for the follow, Sharp. Appreciate it. Thank you for playing. Chewbacca picking up his mini. Just upgrading his gen now. There is a barracks fifth from Reaper and an armory as well. We're going to be seeing Kinsana with a barracks on tech one. Picking up his first power node while his power is being stolen away from him. Constructed. Armor reconstructed. Reaper not picked up the other two mini bases on his side. Jubaka has picked up all three of his. Sano Cyclops on the way out. I don't think Ju has uh, scouted that yet. He hasn't. That Marine should have been able to kill that chopper. Me picking up the central power node. Got Ben at level two and a turret going up. Um, with a second gen on the back mini. That's normally what not what you uh, see from Pavium because you want to get take advantage of the burnouts. Second power node picked up, and this is a push on the main again. Jubaka about to get tech two though. And Sana still five seconds out, and she's very slow on tech one to run across the map. Jubaka going to be stealing uh, a mini base there as well. Second gen now coming up for Reaper. He's not going to be pushing up to the main, uh, but he is going to be taking the third power node. Three power nodes in the middle, and Jubaka does get tech two. Can be putting down a foundry. Not upgraded his second gen. Gonna be spamming rangers out of a raid camp on the mini base. This still is mini. I mean, Reaper would be in a much better spot if he picked up both of these minis. But this one still hasn't been picked up. This is crazy. 
Like, his Kinsana wouldn't have to be over here trying to clear this out. And he has free power nerds, so he'd be looking really good right now. Uh, he's about to hit tech 2 as well. We are seeing double foundry come out from him. With, with Jubaka, with a couple of rangers as well. You know, Reaper now will go into Tech 2 and picking up his fourth power node of the game. Jupiter just sat back at the moment, cancelled the second foundry for a second raid camp. <clears throat> Gonna retake his own power node as Reaper gets into Tech 2. This one is just baffling. Not to pick that many up. There's a whole army chasing the Grunt as well, instead of capping that node. Gonna be taking an expansion. On Jubaka's side of the map, very ballsy as Jubaka tries to take some more nerds here, but the hell drop is going to deny that. Can now get Kinsana to tech two, and we have a garage coming up. And this is where Kinsana looks very good. Wraith Invaders coming out for Jubaka. So get these nerds, deny them. Double garage, flame hogs on the way out. Grunt's gonna go scout. Gonna need some hunters. Yeah, I've seen some hunters now come out for Jubaka. This expansion is about to be built. And Rupa has good scouts on the opposite one as well. Just Marines in the middle, but this is a lot of rangers with Wraith Invaders as well. Kinsana didn't pick up the mini. She's on her way. To help her army in the middle of the map this base is going to get scouted by the marauder and all of a sudden it's not looking so Our good for reaper attack. primarily these minis They're not stopping, sir. full on push onto the expansion now Base is under attack. Kinsana about to get tech too, but these mini bases are really hurting his economy. That's why you can't spam uh, double flame hogs right now. It's technically Upgrade two complete. mini bases down. And his expansion is going to get taken out. We got Kinsana pushing up to the main. And we do have Marauders to slow her down. Got Hunters with Wraith Invaders at the main. There goes the hell drop with a flame wall on the main. It's not going to do much. It's not even hitting this pad. Bram goes down with the chopper. The only chopper he has, actually. And she is very weak now. There's a gen on the back. Do my backer might opt to chase that. Burn out level 2 ready. She's running away. One Wraith Invader coming back here. Rest of Jubaka's arm is going to push out into the middle. I'm under attack from infantry. You can't even build flame hogs at the moment. Turret upgraded. Expansion gonna be picked up for due back. It has been scouted. Kinsana has a shield Turret back. Upgraded. No, she's not on her way over there. The flame hogs looks like they're gonna go deny the expansion and we're getting a push up to the main by Jubaka. But the mini's really hurt in his blue income right now. We got a hog drop, we spent eight fifty on that. Shield comes up on the main as well, 10 seconds out. I don't think he'll be able to deny that, but if he can, if he's quick enough. Power ready. Hell drops ready. He's not focusing it. 
It's going to drop on the turret instead. It's going to allow the shield to come up. That's a problem. Due back at all units in back because there is two anti-vehicle turrets on his main. He's just going to leave now. Jubaka running scared. He's coming all the way back. His expansion got denied. He's got 2,800 blue. Can't really do a lot with it. He's full pop. Could put a fair gen down for one of these uh, unupgraded supply pads. I don't know why he's running away. He's running all the way back to his side of the map. He should be pressuring these mini bases. He could have cleaned all three of these out by now. <laughs> Jubak is just going to pick these up for free 10 minutes into the game. Jubaka loses this. He's probably going to be shaking his head when he sees this. This time he goes to the back. Second foundry coming up. Got rid of the raid camp for that. Uh, no one has an expansion. If Reaper picked up the early expansion on his own side of the map at the start of the game, it would have been much better for him. He would have had that already up and upgraded. And Jubaka sees these two minis back. He's going to go tech free. Gonna see a text free Kinsana. I would upgrade my hogs first. He has a lot of hogs. Would upgrade these hogs. Dragon Tanks is on the way. She's been chased down by Marauders. There's expansion being picked up again. Kinsana sat still. Don't want to lose her when you get a tech free upgrade. Need to get her out of there. Does have the hogs onto the expansion. Run! No! She dead. She's about to get Dragon Tanks as well. Expansion once more going to get denied. This is a problem for Jubaka. Sano late game, when you're on a single base, is very scary. And air being researched, that will be the Flamehog upgrade. Using the mobility well to get away from Jubaka's army. Pavium's now out. Wraith's on the way. I'm under fire from enemy vehicles. Ready. Really wants to try and deny this. Just trying to keep him on one base for as long as possible. Wraith, Invader with Pavium in and the Wraith picking off the Hogs here. Wants to start focusing this down. Fair for population. He's just got no blue. He's got two garages, an armory, and no minis. A Jewbacker isn't even picking up the mini either. This is insane. Aside from that. He could have easily been winning this game. He's crazy. They're not level 2 ready, both players. Tech 3, this base is going to die. But we're going to see a Lich push on the main. Base falls, you back back on one base. 26 population versus 97, and Jubaka will have the Lich. He troops. could end the game right now. You should have done Dalton. I was advertising it for a while. Uh, get in the Discord, because we probably will have another one next month. There's a lot of wraiths now. Get these troops off of me! It's finally going to take the minis out. Had ample opportunity for the full game to do this. And looks like Reaper is going to resign. Oh, that's going to be Jubaka topping the group. 